Hey flower friends, I am going to share with you today how I take cuttings from and overwinter my sweet potato vines. And you know, it can be tough because sometimes they could get bug ridden and they'll last most of the winter and then all of a sudden they die off towards the spring and you're wondering what you did. So I'm gonna show you what I do to get them to continue on for next spring. My very favorite sweet potato vine is the marguerite. And a lot of people find this one overly vigorous in containers and it just gets bigger and bigger and they don't like that aspect, whereas I love it. I love it because it's super easy to propagate. It fills in very quickly and I just love that chartreuse color. Now, as far as using it with other things, um, you can make it a, a its own planter filled and it just is a great statement placed around your garden in the containers. I'm going to show you one that I have going and have been taking cuttings to start all summer long and it's still massively beautiful. So first of all I'm going to show you here are some cuttings that I took just a couple weeks ago if that maybe a week and you can see how they are already rooting beautifully. Lots of beautiful roots on there. And these have been inside. Now I've got them inside right now because uh, our nights are getting down into the 40s and they don't like that. They get all wilty and they look like they don't have enough water and that's not it at all. They don't like the cold temperatures. But anyways, I'm gonna show you my original, how I take a cutting, which is fairly simple, and how I put them in the water. And then I will update you this winter on how they're doing. I'm also going to try to overwinter one in a pot in soil. I've, I don't know if I've ever tried that before. I don't know why. I've always done the water. Um, so anyways, I'm also going to do that and maybe under lights it will live. So we'll see. Anyways, let's go and look at the mother plant. So this here, whoops, let me get it back in the camera better, is the mother plant. Now this is one cutting or plant let me move something out of my way so I don't step in it. This is one mother plant and it was started from just a little cutting like one of these. That was it. And this nice plant, which the, has the beautiful color, starting to put on some autumn color because it has been chilly, like I said. So I've also, and I'll show you in a minute where I have them, started many plants from this. They get going really quick, and that's the beauty of the vigorousness of this plant. So over here is a long tendril hanging down, and you can see where I had taken a cutting from that not that long ago. Let me see, is there any others I could take one from? I can even turn this a little bit and see what we got going. This is probably the one I just did. Oh, there's one over here. I could take one from that, it's not a big deal. I just was, oh yeah, this one's very long. Look at that, and beautiful. And I just hope you can see in there. Go back to under a leaf node. And then I just trim off the leaves. It drips, it drips sap. So just beware of that and just nip off the leaves up to however deep you want to put it in your vase or container for keeping it in water. So I also then I go swish off. I have some water over here. I swish off that sap that's coming out. Let me do that before I put it into the container. And that just keeps the um, water in your container a little bit cleaner. Now, as through the season or winter at indoors, you will want to change out the water frequently to keep it fresh. But I'm just gonna put this in with the others that have already got roots. And within a week or two, that will have rooted. So I'm gonna show you some where I've put others that I started and then I potted up once they had rooted a little bit. Let's go over and see that. Over here is a corner of my deck where I have some of my acers, my Japanese maples. And you can see right in the pots, right at the base of the tree, 
I have another one and that is in a little four inch pot and then I have two over here this is one of the tricolor one that I got this year that I loved and I had to nip it back and I just rooted it and put it in that container and they might have yep they've rooted through but that's okay see right there rooted through but look at that beautiful plant it's already getting big and all I did was stick it set it right there and because these Japanese maples are just in the black nursery pots, it just makes it prettier. And this is kind of a shady spot over here. And that chartreuse green just really adds a pop of that green color here and makes it a little bit prettier. And those were free. All I had to do was root them, pot them up, and stick them right there on the soil of the tree pot in. I have another plant. Isn't that wonderful? So now I wanted to share with you how I intend to keep them going until next spring when I can pot them up and put them out in the garden again or out here on my deck. And what I will do is as they grow longer, which they will, I have a photograph of some I overwintered and they were climbing the blinds uh, in my office. and. As they get longer, I will keep taking more cuttings and rooting those. So these cuttings, because of just being in water and therefore they start to go over, so to speak, and not make it, the new cuttings will. And so by the time spring arrives and I can pot them up, I will have the plants ready to put out. Now, the reason I really wanna do this um, is because this last spring I had a hard hard time finding the marguerite potato vines and that's all the nurseries and whatever were carrying the new hybrids which their selling point for many of them is that they don't aren't as vigorous and they don't take over um, like this one does and they have the smaller spikier leaves or more serrated leaves and I like the big leaves of this it's one of the attributes i absolutely love so to make sure i can get one of these next year without hunting high and low i think i had to get mail order for this and then of course towards the end of summer uh, i saw lowe's had them in big baskets with the darker colored one and um, but it was so late in the season i want to start early and get the plant to fill in throughout the summer so that being said, that's why I'm going to propagate and continue to grow them through the winter. And then I'm also going to do this one. Isn't this beautiful, this black one? Um, this one I did get at a garden center. Oh, I did my white, uh, I'm sorry, tubs with this. And this was a piece that I had to trim back because it was just going crazy. So I'm going to get cuttings of this and overwinter them in water as well. And then I'll have some of these then I don't have to spend the extra dollars to uh, buy more. And I'll have the ones I wish. So, my friends, that is how I propagate and overwinter marguerite and or any sweet potato vine for next year. I have a question for you. What kind of sweet potato vines have you grown and found to be very vigorous and or gorgeous and easy to grow in your garden? Um, I love foliage plants with interesting colors and habits, etc. So I'm always looking for something interesting and new. So leave your answer in the comments below and I'll enjoy reading them. So I hope to see you in the next video.